Thank you and welcome to this channel. I'm Regina Waridi, a Kenyan lady. I work in Saudi Arabia. If it's your first time to watch my videos, I talk about the life experience of a house girl or rather domestic worker here in Gulf countries or in Saudi Arabia. Especially I'm working in Saudi Arabia. So a lot of things I talk about my experience here in Saudi Arabia is a domestic worker. For the returning subscribers, hey guys, thank you so much. We are almost 1,000 subscribers and I know we can hit 1,000 subscribers and more. Continue watching, continue sharing, continue liking, comment. If you want me to make a video, if you have a question, kindly tell me. Let me know through the comment section and i'll be humbled i'll just make a video to answer you probably if you want to know about something i can i can consider making a video so it can reach more people and for those who have not subscribed kindly i beg kindly my friends my silent followers kindly subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so when i bring a new video you will be notified and today i want to share about the rights the rights of a house girl what do you have to know as a house girl nini unafaa kujua usizi uka finyiliwa na watu usizi uka overwork stuff kama hizo don't come here and start overworking because you don't know your rights no no at least simple few at least few and you will be on a safe side like these people sorry to say but it's true these people when you come as a visitor as a new worker in this place at the first place they 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 you will work in the houses then they will take you to the relative's house if you try to work in that house it now be continuous you'll be taken there once in a while to go and do some work there and there is no extra payment so kindly please unless you you agree maybe there is extra cash you being given or a gift then you can go ahead and work but don't go to work in those relatives house don't unless you are willing to help but let it not like you are being taken to a sister's house to a brother's house or maybe to maybe to the entire family they will be taken from one house to another to work for their relatives and then you when you go back to your place you love to work there learn to say no this is not what i signed in my contract understand you signed maybe if it's one house kindly work in one house that's it one family don't work for the relatives let them look for their domestic worker just deal with what brought you there how many families you send one okay do it again learn to talk when you are pissed off as in maybe what they are trying to do you feel no is not right for me learn to talk as long as you are polite they will listen to you yeah so you have to you have to be keen then take time to relax these people they will not tell you my 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 worker please sit down relax go somewhere sleep for a while no they want to see you working for 24 hours that's their happiness because they have this excuse they bought you all they mean is they paint for your documents for your traveling document to come to work in their home so they want you to be busy 24 or 7 but at least take some time some few minutes relax you can't do work like a robot you can't you will suffer you will suffer as long as you have finished doing something take a few minutes relax then go to to the other job kind then something like learn to eat eat well and healthy these people will not come to tell you please my worker just cook and eat 
sit down and eat, they will not tell you. They will cook, serve themselves, or, the, or maybe they will cook and carry the food. Then, if there is no food, just cook your food. Cook and cook good food. Don't just cook as if you are cooking for, maybe for, for a rabbit. No, please. Eat and eat healthy for your own good so you can have energy and the strength to continue working for them. By the time you don't eat, you will become weak and you will suffer and suffer at all. And even if you are, you are sick, they want to see you working. Because if you don't work for them, who else? And they have paid for you to come to work for them. Then when you are sick, learn to speak. Tell them, no, I'm unwell. Of course, majority, they give, they give their workers panando. Panando, that is the painkillers, mostly. So by the time your boss gives you painkiller, then after a few minutes, like 10 minutes, you are back to your work. You know, at uh, for, for one, you are sick. You are the one who is feeling, no, this pain is too much. Then after taking some, some painkillers, the pain relieved for a ritual, for a ritual. So then again, maybe you are in pain, at least tell them no, take me to hospital. Then the doctor tell me where I'm suffering from, what is bothering me, and then I can, I can start medication from there. These painkillers, they are just to relieve the pain, not to cure, not to cure the disease you are suffering from. So at least learn, learn to learn, learn to talk. Then again, learn to, to talk when you're, when you're pissed off. I've told you to, to know your work. Kindly know your work. You came here as a house girl. Do what is concerned about the the domestic worker, the house manager, that the house girl worker. Kindly do that. You didn't come here to be a massage therapist. No. By the time you show them that maybe you can be doing them massage, now know that you will be doing that for to the entire family. Or the family members, they are concerned that they have a massage therapist. So at least do what brought you here. When you are trying to do this work and you see it's, it's against your, your, your contract, like you came here to, to do a house girl job, then you find that you are taken to, to do maybe to look after the cattle. They have. They have the camel, they have um, sheep, then you find that you are doing two, it's like two duties about the taking care of the cattle, then again back in the house you are the one doing all that work. Kindly stand still with what brought you here. You came to work as a domestic worker and you came to do specifically the house girl worker because they are going to wash to cook to clean and to look after the children but to know where you sent to look after the animals after the cattle no the camel the sheep you are the one who is going to take them to the field again in the evening you will take them back to the shed no that's not your work just know your work then you find that maybe when you come your room is not well ventilated kindly if you find the room is not ventilated well for your own sake for your own good health just tell them to fix what is not in the room maybe there is no air conditioner tell them there isn't like when it's very hot at least you can cool their room you see maybe the window is broken so at least let them maybe give you a curtain a window curtain you can just fix it but learn to learn to talk maybe there is no mattress there is no maybe the blanket of course you can't sleep on the floor so at least the first time you 
you come to work the first time you you are shown your room check it if it's not well maintained at least raise some complain but raised in a polite in a polite manner yeah that's it then learn to ask for your salary this work is not an easy job so you are coming here to work then at the end of it all at the end of the month maybe they delay your salary maybe with the two days that's okay but if they delay your salary with more than three days kindly ask them why is my salary delayed just ask in a polite manner don't be harsh don't be rude don't ask a severe commanding no just request then they can explain to you and if that you see maybe the first month you are not paid again second month raise the alarm to the office let your office know that you have worked but you have not received your salary or maybe you can you can tell your boss to explain to you but don't let these people stay with your salary you are working so you can you can feed your family if they don't pay you how will you feed your family you will not be able to you see so at least learn to ask for your salary but ask in a polite way so guys and that's for today and if i if i get more i will just let you know this is not now the beginning i'll keep updating updating and if you need a, to to be answered of a question or maybe you want me to maybe to make a video of something so you can get it better just comment in the, in that section just let me know and i'll do that video so it can reach more people you and maybe other people can can learn through what you are requesting you see and for those who are not subscribed kindly consider subscribing kindly and for those who have already subscribed i'm so humbled thank you guys being gone bless you for me my silent followers kindly i beg subscribe i need 1000 subscribers and i'll be happy continue watching watch again again and again and again learn more tell a friend to tell a friend so share so it can reach more people they can learn through this this platform i'm so humbled and bye bye see you in the next video let's meet there i'm bringing a new video so thank you